Oh my goodness, it's time to pack. Welcome Royal Highnesses, I'm Dan and you're watching Walt Disney World Adults Only and today I'm so excited to tell you that we are flying to Orlando in the morning and guess what, it's time for us to pack. And in my last video, I promised you a quick video to show you what we're gonna to take to Orlando and this is gonna be my first ever packing video. So, I've seen lots and lots of females doing these videos before, but I've never seen a man doing it. So what does a guy take to Orlando for an adult only trip? Well, I'm gonna show you now. So we are flying business class with British Airways tomorrow morning, and that means we get to take two cases each. So we've got two cases that can be up to 32 kilograms each, that's 64 kilograms of luggage per person, which means we can take as much stuff as we like. So there's our two cases, and then down here I've got my hand luggage bag, a nice little Alexander McQueen holdall, which I take everywhere whenever I fly anywhere. It is just the perfect hand luggage bag to take. So I'm gonna fill these two cases and look at how much stuff I've got out to pack. And I'm gonna run you through some of this stuff so that you know what we're taking and of course why we're taking it. Are you ready? So let's start off with shoes. As you can see, I have got quite a lot of shoes. I'm gonna take the trainers that you can see just down here are the ones I'm gonna wear for the airport. So I've got some espadrilles. I've got a couple of pairs of smart shoes, a pair of sketches there as well, a couple of pairs of trainers, a pair of flip-flops, and a pair of sliders as well. So it's quite a lot of shoes to take, I would suggest. Uh, but we've got the room in the case, we've got the luggage allowance, so why not? And as you probably know by now, I am a bit of a geek, and so everything is super well organized. I've got my binder, which has got my itinerary, and all of my travel documents in it, including my ESTA, and all my COVID stuff, along with a day-by-day -day plan as well. So this binder is gonna be our Bible. Let's give you a quick run through of all the items I'm gonna be taking. So first of all, we'll start off with a hoodie. I'm only taking one hoodie with me. This is just for the plane in case it's a little bit cold. I do intend to buy some more at the outlets whilst we're there. I've got two pairs of sunglasses as well and two different hats. I've got a, I don't know if you call that a trilby hat, but it's really cool, I love it. And then I've got this little Hollister cap as well. When you're a spam head like me, you really do need to keep your head covered because otherwise you get a burnt head and that is no fun whatsoever. We'll scoot over my underwear and socks onto my pile of shorts. As you can see, I've got quite a lot of shorts to pack in. I've got a pair of jeans and a pair of smart trousers for signature restaurants. And then I've got quite a lot of shirts here as well. So there's all different shirts here, all different short sleeve summery shirts. Swimwear, I've got about, I think, maybe about four pairs of swimwear. And then here I've got some shorts and some joggers as well, just in case it's cold. Who am I kidding? It's not gonna be cold in Florida, is it? But yeah, I think pretty much that's my clothing that I'm taking. Oh, and t-shirts. I've got a massive pile of t-shirts. I'm probably not gonna pack all of these. Uh, when we get down to doing the packing in a minute, I'm probably gonna give up on some of those. There's probably too many to take. But yep, yeah, so that's my clothing. I've got my shoes down there, as I talked to you about before. Hoodie, hats, shorts, swimwear, trousers, underwear, and about a million pairs of socks down there, shirts, and then t-shirts. That's my clothing. Um, and I do intend to buy some more whilst we're there as well. So let's move on. As I mentioned in my last video, I've got a stash of pins now, which Courtney has sent me across from Indiana. So I've got those to give out to you as well in the park. So I've got a little stash of pins just down here. Let me get one of those out to show you a bit close up. So these are our WDWAO pins. I'm gonna have a whole stash of these to give out to people. I think I've got about 75 in total. So if you see me in the parks and you'd like one of our pins, let me know and you could own one of these little beauties. Now to assist for our first time ever vlogging, we have bought a GoPro to use at the water park. So this is our GoPro 10. It's got a floaty in there at the moment. Um, neither of us actually know how to use this yet. We've got to work this out tonight before we fly. But we've got a little GoPro 10, uh, which we're going to use as well for our vlogging. And then we bought this kit. We don't really know what's in here, but it's got hundreds and hundreds of gizmos and gadgets. 
uh, which will allow us to attach that GoPro to different parts of our body and different things as well. So uh, hopefully we'll get some really good shots and some good footage in good HD and 4K quality for you as part of our vlog series. Then I'm gonna be taking two different bags to the park. This is my North Face bag, which I absolutely love. It's really, really robust and useful. It's a great little backpack. So I'll be using that as my primary bag for the parks. And then I got this little Gucci bag, which is like a little shoulder bag, which I'll probably use for when we go out in the evening so we don't need to have um, so much stuff to carry. So that's like a little bag to take out in the evenings. And then during the day, I've got my main bag down there, the North Face bag. Moving back over here, I have got lots and lots of technology and cables. First of all, I've got some hair clippers. Believe it or not, despite having no hair, if I do not shave my head every five days, it does start to grow and look kind of like I'm a bit crazy. So hair clippers uh, I'm taking, and in the US, the hair clippers that we have here do not work very well. So I've bought some rechargeable ones that I've charged up now, so they'll work properly when I get to America but the ones you plug in just don't seem to work on the American electricity for whatever reason that is but yeah rechargeable clippers and then down here you can see lots of different cables and wires um, I've got battery chargers this one here is for the uh, GoPro this one here is for this camera that I'm filming with now the Sony ZV-1 I've then got a hub and a hard drive to save all my footage uh, different card readers to be able to export the cards and then a power bank as well which of course we're going to need uh, when we're filming so much in the park so yeah got a power bank and then got some lens wipes here to clean the cameras uh, lots and lots of batteries and memory cards there's a battery in this camera so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine batteries and then a whole load of cards as well down here. So yeah, lots of memory cards. I've got my glasses so that I can see uh, the fireworks and the projections on the castle, because they're all a little bit blurry to me about my glasses. My wallet with some money, our passports are there. Uh, I've got travel plugs, um, suntan cream. You must take your suntan cream, uh, particularly at this time of year, I'm sure burn. And then after sun, got some ponchos here which I have to say are actual crap uh, we bought them on Amazon and they're really flimsy so I doubt we'll be using them but we'll take them anyway and if we need to buy some in the parks then we will do that as well and then on to toiletries so uh, as you can see here I've got pseudo cream which is like a universal cream for anything that kind of goes wrong it just works on absolutely everything it's a great little cream that uh, my ear pods are down there as well I don't know why they're in with cream um, some different uh, kills ultra facial cream this is a moisturizer um, but it's also got an SPF 30 in it so rather than putting sun cream on my face I can just use the moisturizer which is great a uh, couple of aftershaves there um, I've got these as well these are really great um, if your feet start to get tired these little dry skin foot masks give it a nice refresh and if your face starts to burn as well these um, after sun face masks are really really great for taking the sting out and for restoring uh, your skin color no one wants to be bright red when they go out in the evening so and then just here we've got some uh, plasters and some different tablets I suffer really bad with hay fever so I've got my hay fever tablets um, we've got some Nurofen which is a little bit of Advil and then because we've got a villa at Animal Kingdom, we've also got some stuff to do some laundry, some laundry tablets and some softener as well. And basically, this is what we're gonna be taking. And I now need to get this into suitcases. Wish me luck. And just like that, we are all packed and now ready to go. How exciting our trip to Walt Disney World is finally here. So that concludes our packing video for today. If you found it useful, please tell me in the comments below and I'll do another one in the future. If you didn't, tell me that as well. It's always good to get honest feedback from our viewers. Um, so all packed, we are gonna be going to Walt Disney World tomorrow 
and I cannot wait to return home. It's been such a long time coming. As I told you before, the last time I got to go was in 2019. COVID stopped our last trip. So this is David's first visit. I cannot wait to get back and we're gonna be vlogging the whole series. So make sure you're subscribed. With that little notification bell clicked as our videos will start to come out from next Sunday, 5 p.m. UK time BST and 12 noon EST in America. So make sure that you are subscribed with a bell clicked so you do not miss this series. It's gonna be epic. I cannot wait to share my adventure with you. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching. If you're still here and I've not bored you to death, um, but thank you for watching and remember, never grow up.